Coming up, we're going to play some DBC trivia. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the DBC Show. Coming to you from the Bob Varley studio in Orlando, Florida, I'm your host, Pete Werner, joined in the studio this week by my good friends, uh, moving to Orlando, Dot com co-owner and realtor, Mr. Sean Falk. Hi. Our producer, Mr. Corey Fiescanaro. Welcome home. See, I didn't forget you this week. It's very good. I'm, I'm really very happy impressed. with that. And joining us, joining us via the interwebs, senior editor for DBCFan.com, Mr. Paul Krieger. Hey, everyone. Happy Monday. And uh, from a DBC Resale Market, Mr. Derek DeBoer. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. And, of course, webmaster on disboards.com, the one and only Mr. Rob Lindsay, the original DBC member. That's what I'm calling you. Good morning. And welcome, folks. Hope your Monday is off to a good start. Uh, before we get started, just a reminder, uh, the DB, our, our DBC shows and all of our DBC content, including dbcfan.com, is brought to you by the world of DBC. And that consists of dbcresalemarket.com, if you are in the, the market for a resale. Uh, dbcrentalstore.com, if you want some options to experience DBC before you take the plunge and you want to rent some points. Or if you're a DBC member who has points that they need to rent out, that's your one-stop shop. And of course, Monera Financial as I refer to them, the crack of the DBC world, because they make it so easy to finance your next DBC resale. So uh, head over if you if you like our DBC content, please show your support by supporting our sponsors. That's how we pay for this. That's how we do this. So I just you know if you like us, if you like our shows, you like our vlogs, our Facebook group, our websites, our articles, all the stuff we produce. Uh, every month for DBC fans, then please show your support by uh, supporting our sponsors. Okay, so this week, Fiasco had this idea. We're going to see how good it is. Yeah. Okay, because we're going to judge Fiasco harshly on this. Oh, no. I mean, I judge Fiasco harshly anyway. But, but you know what? Just Just a moment on that. People get upset because I bust your chops all the time. And they don't, un they really don't get yeah. that it's just our dynamic. I adore this man. And I adore you too. I adore this man. He is so, he's a wonderful person, but he's also a phenomenal producer, uh, works his butt off for us. Um, so understand that it really is, it's like the highest form of love I can show. This is already turning out to be a great show. <laughs> yeah, you're you're enjoying this. I just wanted to make sure I got that I got that out there. That you know, am I on the, the right game show? Is this the match game? <laughs> yeah, really. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, a uh, dating game. Dating game is what you're dating thinking. Game. Match game was a little different, but anyway, just wanted to make sure I got that out there. <laughs> Thank but, you. Um, it was Fiasco's idea to do a, and of course, it's not in front of me now when it's supposed to be. Um, I would like to mention, too, at the top of the show, everybody watching from home, down in the notes below or the description, will be a link to the questions. If you wanted to pull it up and play along with your family at home, just know there's going to be two files. Uh, the first page is going to be the questions. The second page is going to be the answer key. So if you actually want to play along, don't look at page two yet. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, and now, now, if you ask to explain how this is going to work, I'm going to read these questions out. And then what, like Rob and, and Paul are just going to like scream? So, no, I, well, that was option B, but luckily everybody has uh, a paper and a writing utensil. So you'll read out the question. Uh, I told them that it was multiple choice, but I don't know if you're going to give them the multiple choice answers or it's just I don't see, I don't see any paper or writing utensil for Sean. Did you forget Sean? Well, I'm sure we can find something real quick. I, I'll get, I'll, we'll get Sean a piece of paper and a, and a pen. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Sean's like, okay. But uh, so they'll write down their answers and then all at once, everybody will hold up their answers. And then whoever gets it right gets a point. Whoever doesn't get it right won't get a point. 
Yeah. And you're keeping track of the points? I'll keep track of the points. Okay, yes. Because that, like, I can't do <clears throat> more than one thing at a time. You yeah, know. I got at, you there. At my age, at my age. Sad, but it's what happens. Okay. So let's start off. Now, Rob, if you miss this one, you're 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 out of the parade. You're out of the parade. <laughs> Disney Vacation Club began with a resort known today as Disney's Old Key West Resort. What was the resort called when it opened in 1991? Before we get to the answers, uh, we had to edit a little bit here. Sean got uh, something came in that he had to take care of. So he's gone into the next room. Probably won't be here for the rest of this particular show. Uh, so I just want to look awkward uh, that Sean isn't here. Um, all right. So let's go ahead with our answers. And I can't see what anybody is holding up. Paul says Disney Vacation <laughs> Club Resort. That's also what Doc has. Yep. Derek, that's also what Derek has. Everybody has Everybody a correct answer. Everybody got it correct. Yes. Everybody got it correct. Okay. So points all around. Oh, and by the way, Ooh. I didn't mention, uh, there is a prize involved in this, in this game. Uh, <gasps> whoever gets the most points... On their next trip to Disney World, I will personally take for a Dole Whip. So there's a lot at stake here. Uh, I know a lot of you, this Dole Whip can go a long way. Don't you want to encourage people to get them right? (laughs) Well, if you don't want a Dole Whip from me, then maybe lose. You know, (laughs) throw the game. The better question is what happens to the loser? Uh, Well, what happens to the loser is they have to go get a Dole Whip with uh, Fiasco. I mean, we can play it that way if you want. If it's kind of leaning towards like you don't want to hang out with me, then we'll definitely make the loser hang out with me. So, all right, and just let me <laughs> remind, uh, let, let let everybody know these trivia questions are actually part of uh, DVC's trivia night. Uh, I guess this is available on the DVC website. Yes. Um, so you know, we didn't come up with these questions. We're using it's readily available on the DVC website. We just thought it would be would be a fun show. Um, All right, let's go on to number two. Actual cars from the miniature train that famously ran through Walt Disney's backyard are among the railroad treasures on display at Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. What was the name of Walt's railroad? Was it Wedway Railway, Yensid Express, Carrollwood Pacific Railroad or the Buena Vista Railroad? And then I have a follow-up question that is not on this list. Everyone's riding away. Now, do you, do you know the answer to this, Fiasco? Um, I, I mean, I feel like I would because I looked at the Actually, I have two follow-ups. Questions. I have two follow-up questions to this one. That are not on this. Bonus points. They will be bonus points. Yes, we will give bonus points for this question. Is everyone locked in? I think so. All right. Reveal. All right. Hard to read, but. Yeah, why don't you read them out? Because (laughs) this is. (laughs) So Rob has the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad. Paul also has the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad. And so does Derek. Everyone gets a point. Okay, so everyone gets a point on that. Right, Carrollwood Pacific wow. Railroad. Now, why is it called the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad? Oh, oh. Mm, bonus points, everybody. Does anybody know? Oh, oh, Rob oh. knows. Yeah. Rob knows. All right, Rob, go for it. That's the street they lived on. That's the street they lived on. That's right, Walt's house. Walt's house was on Carol Wood Drive in uh, Los Angeles. Um, fun fact, uh, I believe that was the house Michael Jackson was renting when he passed away. That's wow. where he was living. Um, I think, I think. I remember hearing that. I, I could be wrong on that. But I'm not wrong on this next question. <laughs> Walt had a barn, a huge red barn on his property at Carol Wood Drive where he worked on his trains. Where is that barn now? 
Mm. Man, no these idea. are tough. Where is that barn now? Anyone? Fort Wilderness. No, it is not. That's incorrect. <laughs> I wanted to do that. Anybody else? I don't think there's a barn. Give up? I don't think there's a barn associated. I don't remember if there's a barn in Lytic land or not, but I'll throw that out there. Where is it? Living with the lamb? No. 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 Okay. Oh, nope. that was a good guess. Nope. It, uh, everybody give up? Yep. Yeah. The barn was donated uh, to a... Um, a, a, a model train enthusiast group in Los Angeles and was moved to Griffith Park in Los Angeles. And going to get a plug in here for Dreams Unlimited Travel when you do the Backstage Magic Adventures by Disney Tour. One of the stops is to Griffith Park in, Holly, in Los Angeles. And you get to not only see the barn, you get to go in and it's preserved beautifully and it's incredible. But that was the barn that was on Walt's property on Carrollwood Drive uh, where he worked on his trains and he worked on his stuff. That was a tough cool. one. So, that was tough. See, now if you did more Adventures by Disney trips through dreamsunlimitedtravel.com where you get a very nice little rebate on, on, your, on your reservation, um, you would have known these things, but you're bad Disney fans. All of you, bad Disney fans. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Next one. Uh, I think everybody should know this. Legal documents signed at Disney's Polynesian, Polynesian Village Resort officially broke up which of the following chart-topping bands? Spice Girls, if wishing made it so. <laughs> In sync, the Beatles, or ABBA? <laughs> we all locked in on that one? Locked and loaded. All right. Reveal your Spice Girls answers. <laughs> Rob, what did you say? I didn't know. Oh, oh no. wow. We stumped Rob. Uh-oh. Paul, I, I can't read that, Paul. So what did you say? He said Beatles. Beatles? Derek? I said Beatles, although I, I, I wanted to write Spice World. So. Derek? <laughs> I said the Beatles. Beatles is correct. Um, now, which Beatle was at the Polynesian signing those papers? Oh, 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 oh. I know. All right. Anybody else want to lock in the Beatle? Speak your beetle. Locked it in the loading. Yeah, what's that say? I can't read it. John Lennon. Paul? Yeah, Paul, John. you just go ahead and say it because I can't see it. <laughs> okay? He says John. I, I wrote John. That was Use guess. your words. Use your words, people. John Lennon is correct. John Lennon was staying at uh, the Polynesian when the official paperwork was delivered to him to sign his name and dissolve dissolve the Beatles. Um, all right, let's see. Some of these are so stupidly easy. Um, <laughs> I'm okay with the stupidly easy question. I'm sure you are. <laughs> I think we should have Doc. Okay, what is the nickname of the stretch of Florida coastline along which Disney's Vero Beach oh. is located? Is it Treasure Coast, Space Coast, Citrus Coast, or Turtle Coast? All right. Everybody ready to reveal? Ready. Spice Girls. All right. So, Rob, start with you. What did you say? I said Turtle Coast. Turtle Coast. Paul, what about you? 
Treasure Coast. Treasure Coast. Derek? Treasure Coast is the correct answer. And Treasure Coast Can is, in fact, answer? the correct answer. <laughs> Putting the points on the board. This is a pretty close game, I think. Yeah, Still, what is the current what is the current score so of Fiasco? The current tally is Doc with three points. Paul and Derek both have five points. They're really racking in those bonus points. Wow, wow. <laughs> Rob, um, um um we got it, we get we 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 gotta get this up. So um All right. Let's try this one. The Sivu Play water play area at Disney's Riviera Resort features sculpted characters from which animated film? Is it Fantasia, Beauty and the Beast, The Aristocats, or Ratatouille? I don't know. I don't feel 100% on this one. Oh my God, if you don't stop with that music, I swear to God, I'll throw something at you. <laughs> I don't feel good about this one. You all ready to reveal? This is a tough one because it's new. It's a new resort. Um, you go so, first, Paul. Paul, which what did you say, Paul? Paul said Fantasia. Fantasia. Uh, Derek? I also said Fantasia. Rob? I said Ratatouille. Wow, Rob is just sucking it on oh, this. No. <laughs> it is, in fact, Fantasia. Yes. Points on the were, board for Paul and Derek. If there were any historic questions here, though, Rob would crush us. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> I just want to get that dole whip with Corey. Yeah, you're really going hard for it, man. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> I'm messing um, around on a Monday. <laughs> all right, so we'll we'll throw out an easy one now. What famous horse race takes place in the town that served as a source of inspiration for Disney Saratoga Springs rev, uh, Resort and Spa? Is it <laughs> Travers Stakes, Kentucky Derby? Preakness Stakes, or the Belmont Stakes? That's a tough one. That's, that's a, a lot of stakes. stakes. That's a lot of stakes. That's because it, it's an old question. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you just, like, age shame Rob? Is that what you just did? <laughs> I think he did. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Rob, what did you say? Traverse Stakes. Travers Stakes. Uh, Paul? I don't know if I spelled it right, but I feel confident now. What? Speak it out. I can't see it for the 83rd time. Travers Stakes. Travers Stakes. Derek? I don't feel good about it. I said Preakness. Preakness. Well, Derek, you are incorrect. It is, in fact, the Travers Stakes. I grew up 20 miles from there. Paul now just squeezed into the lead. Mm. One point above Derek. Derek, you're going to have to pick up that game if you're going to want that Dole Whip. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. This is so easy that really anybody gets this wrong, I'm – you're dead to <laughs> That's me. too much pressure. That's, yeah, that is way too much pressure now. <laughs> no, thanks. Disney's Beach Club Villas features a bronze statue of which sea-loving animated character? <laughs> Moana, Ariel, Nemo, or Dory? Really and truly, I'm not kidding. If anybody gets this wrong, you're dead to me. Can we all just say it together? Sure. I'm fine with that. I'll count down. Three. Three. Two. One. Zero. Ariel. Ariel. Ariel, Ariel is correct. Everybody gets a point. It's like Little League. Everybody gets a trophy. Um, but not everybody gets a doll whip, so only one of you will. Do we get a trophy too, or like a medal to wear while we eat our doll whip? Uh, I will bring you a pin from my collection. Oh, it has to go on your mask. Has to go on your mask. That's a good rule. Stab it through my nose. All right, let's 
Because I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know the answer to this one. I don't know the answer to this one. I mean, I can look, but trying to do these without looking until we got to get the answers. But anyway, Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas, Kidani Village, shares its name with the Swahili word for sunset, giraffe, savannah, or necklace. I know this one because I read the answer key. Well, that's why you're not playing. Yeah. I have the answers in front of me and you read them. You gave me the answers, so we should not play. That'd do it. Yeah, that wouldn't be fair. I'll still buy myself a Dole Whip, though. I mean. All right. So, Rob, what did you say? I guessed Savannah. Savannah. Paul? Oh, just say it for God's sakes. Necklace. Necklace, Derek? Yes, Paul's right. It's necklace. Paul is right. It is necklace. <laughs> it is Darn necklace. It. I, Rob, I'm right there with you. I would have gone with Savannah, too. Yeah, it makes sense, right? I think also um, it has something to do with the shape of the building. Yes, it does. I think it's, it's shaped like a necklace. <laughs> no, okay. You, I hope you mean you, aerial view. Yes. All right. Let's do one at Bay Lake Tower. The fountain displaying names of the first members to call Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort home is named with a nod to a working title used during construction of the original Disney's Contemporary Resort. Name the fountain. Is it Monorail Bay Fountain, Tempo Fountain, Outer Rim Fountain, or Founders Fountain? Ooh. It's a good one. Monorail Bay, Tempo, Outer Rim, or Founders? I actually know this one without, without looking at the answer, King. Hmm. We all ready? Let's start with you this time, Derek. All right. I don't feel 100% about it, but I'm just I'm hoping that Paul does not get it right. So I'm going to go tempo. Tempo. Okay, Paul. I am 0% confident on this one. I went with founders. Founders. That's hey, Paul missed the part of the question that it was the working name during construction of the original Contemporaries Resort. I don't think their working name was Founders Resort, but okay. Um, I'm just going to shame you a little bit because you're doing age. You were doing old shaming of Rob, and now I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. He left. (laughs) Rob? I said Tempo. Tempo, and Tempo is correct. I feel like this turned into Survivor on that question. (laughs) Vanished from the island, if you get it wrong. Oh, no, yeah. (laughs) Dark catching up. Derek's catching up to uh-huh. Paul. I think we're tied now. You're actually still down by one. The current tally mm-hmm. is Rob with five points, Paul with nine points, and Derek with eight points. Oh. All right. I also reserve the right to award five points as my whim. <laughs> um, <laughs> just keep that in mind. <laughs> I want the daily double. Uh, oh, sure. All right, let's do a daily double. Yeah. Let's do a daily double. <laughs> okay. Now? This uh-huh. one will be worth two Running points. This yep. This one will be worth two points. We just make the rules up as we go. Wait, it's fine. wait, can we can we measure how many points we want to be at? What's that? That might be fun. Yeah. Can- can we do like a true daily double? Wager how many points we want to risk? Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. So, everybody... so again, remind everybody how many points everybody has. All right. So everybody has, let's see, Rob with five, Paul with nine, and Derek with eight. So you can wager however many points you have, uh, however many you want there. Write down the number of points you want to wager, and then we'll reveal what everybody's wagering together. Oh, my God. This is make or break for you. Yeah. All right. Which? Is this the last question? Okay. 
Which of the following Disney dogs calls Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort his exclusive home? Is it Bolt, Pluto, Shadow, or Copper? Now, with your answer, make sure you write down how many points you're wagering. Well, technically, they probably should have written down the wager points before I asked the question. Probably. But if we're going to do Jeopardy, I mean, because now they all just, they all just, you know, did zero. (laughs) We have to answer in the form of a question. (laughs) No. All right. Let's start with you, Rob. Which of the following Disney dogs calls Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort his exclusive home? Shadow. Shadow. Paul? I wrote Shadow. Derek? I also wrote Shadow. All right. You all got it right. But who wagered what points? But who wagered what points? Rob, how many points did you wager? 25. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Wagering points you don't have. So all of them. In other words, all the points you have, which is not 25, you wagered. (laughs) Paul? I wagered eight points. No. So, so, so Rob got a true daily double here. Um, uh, Paul, Paul had how many points? Paul had nine, eight. wagered eight, so he has seventeen. Rob has ten, and Derek. I wagered three points, but can I change it to eight? No, <laughs> no. no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home, Derek. Go big that's, or go home. That's so, how honest I am. I literally could have changed it, but I didn't. We have <laughs> for that final tally Rob with 10 points, Paul with 17, and Derek with 11. Are we doing any more mm-hmm. questions or is that it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> He's just going to find a way for me to lose now. Okay. This will be worth five. <laughs> this last question worth five points. Well, even if so, we're being worth five points still, no matter what Paul wins. 10 points. Okay. This wow. Question is worth 10 points. Uh, so whoever answers this wins then. Well, I, I also like to, I, I also like to uh, uh, tweak Paul's uh, 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 competitiveness. Okay. Good. You weren't sure what word was going to come out of my mouth, were you? No. Um, tweak his banjo. Tweak his banjo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last question. A towering chandelier featuring creatures blending sea life with horses is among the striking features of the lobby serving Disney's Boardwalk Inn and Disney's Boardwalk Villas. What is the chandelier's quirky name? Is it Sea Biscuit Chandelier, Lucy Lumiere, Sequine Chandelier, or Hippocampus Electrolier? Okay. <laughs> That's something else. I'd be really surprised if anybody knows If that. anybody gets this right, I'm going to be stunned. It's worth a dollop at that point. All right, we all in? Yep. All right, Derek. Derek, what's the name of the chandelier? I'm going to go with Hippo. Hippocampus Electrolier, I think that's how it's pronounced. Yes. Yes. Rob, what about you? Hippocampus. Hippocampus and Paul. I only went with this based off of some of the other theming throughout the resort. Hippocampus. <laughs> Hippocampus is correct. Everybody got oh, it. Everyone got wow, that's impressive. Fun. Yeah, I'm 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 very impressed. I'm very, very impressed. All right, what's our final tally? So with that new 10-point question and everybody getting it, Rob ends off with 20, Paul with 27, and Derek with 21. So Paul is still Victor. Well, oh. you know, oh. then there was that ageist <laughs> comment he made. I don't know. So I could either take points away from him or give points to Rob. I'm not sure. But we'll let the audience decide. Okay. We'll let the like audience decide. The Academy. Does Paul's oh, man, does does Paul's uh uh win stand? 
or does ageism deserve to be punished publicly? <laughs> we'll let you decide. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for being with us. Thank you folks for being with us. We hope you enjoyed it. That's going to do it for our episode. Uh, we will be back with you again next week with another edition of the DBC show. Have a great week, folks.